Tonight, RICO, our Animal Investigations Unit, is talking about a huge step forward for chimpanzees around the world. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service has announced a new proposal that would protect thousands of chimpanzees currently held in captivity. I'm going to break it down for you. Chimps are under attack right now. Government distinguishes between chimps in the wild and chimps held in captivity, used in laboratories, for example, and movies. Under the Endangered Species Act, wild chimps are protected and considered endangered. But those captive chimps in the laboratories, they're on their own. Few protections for them. Now, because of this, captive chimps are often exploited in commercials or movies or kept as pets, which is dangerous. Not to mention the hundreds of chimpanzees who are right now, as we speak, languaging in um, research laboratories in these horrible little cells all around the United States. If passed, this proposal could save thousands of these intelligent, sensitive creatures from testing and torture. The U.S. government is starting to see the light, but they need your help to make this law. I am honored, deeply honored, to have with me tonight a very special guest, Dr. Jane Goodall, founder of the Jane Goodall Institute and U.N. Messenger of Peace, the world's most famous chimpanzee advocate. Uh, may I call you Jane? One Jane to okay. another. <laughs> yep. Tell us what this proposal could mean for chimps everywhere. Well, one of the big problems is that because the captive chimps uh, were not considered in the endangered listing, people, you know, see them in advertisements and they see them in circuses and they just don't believe they're endangered. And by including the captive chimps in the endangered species listing, it means people are get, going to start thinking differently and that they will not be able to be exploited or harmed or harassed or any of these other things. I forget the exact wording of the regulation. So this is the proposal. And the most important thing is that that uh, proposal is realized and that's going to be within the next 60 days when people, like everybody listening, can write in and say that they really, really support and want this uh, piece of um, legislation to happen. Where do they write? Should they write to their Congress member or should they write to their senator or should they write to uh, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife uh, Agency? Where do they write? I believe they write to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife uh, Agency. I believe that will be posted on the Internet. They could uh, write to the Jane Goodall Institute, which also has a website. They could probably write to you and you'd pass it on, right? Of course. Well, we're going to uh, obviously let everybody know that this is very important. These chimps cannot speak for themselves. Go to janegoodall.org, janegoodall.org. Follow the links. They will tell you exactly what to do. And, you know, this shift in consciousness is not just about chimps. There are thousands of other primates around the world being held in captivity for testing. And a lot of times it's, you know, for the latest cosmetic or some food item. You see monkeys here huddling together in terror. They are scared. They have been grabbed from captivity, grabbed from the wild and put in captivity. Look at these animals. Look how scared and lonely and tortured they are. Um, why? When we know, Jane, that there are so many, Dr. Jane Goodall, you are a doctor. We are now working on the molecular and the submolecular level. We don't need to be torturing our cousins in this manner. Do you see a shift in consciousness where people are realizing that, that this is not necessary when we're dealing with protons and neutrons and that can be studied in a laboratory? Well, you know, what I think is what the, what the chimps have taught us is that we are so biologically like them. But the, I would say the biggest difference is this explosive development of our intellect. And that intellect has led, as you say, to the most extraordinary scientific breakthroughs. And already out there, there are so many alternatives to using chimpanzees and indeed other animals that uh, turn out to be cheaper and more effective. And if we, you know, if, if we have a different mindset, if we say to ourselves, okay, we admit that what we're doing to these animals from their perspective is torture. So can't we get together and admit that this is so and use our brains collectively 
the, the medical people to find more ways until no animals are needed in medical research. From we your mouth to God's ear, as they say, Dr. Jane Goodall, we're going to take a brief break and be back. Please, viewers, stay with us. Bear witness. You can make the difference. You can change lives. You can make life not a living hell for these animals if we all band together and do something. Stay right there. Join us. <laughs> We are honored to have Dr. Jane Goodall with us tonight, speaking to us from Europe, by the way, her amazing website, janegoodall.org. Go there, janegoodall.org. Learn more about how you can help these animals at this crucial juncture. Final thoughts, Dr. Goodall. Well, we still have a lot of work to do if we retire all the chimpanzees from medical research, which we must. We have to retire them into sanctuaries, and sanctuaries don't grow on trees. So we have to really put our, you know, put our, put our hearts what, where our words are and help and contribute and write letters and support and raise money and do everything we can because they deserve it. If you love animals the way Jane Goodall does, it's not about owning a chimp. You can't own uh, these creatures. They are God's creatures. It's about helping them. And you can help them by going to janegoodall.org and getting involved. They can't speak for themselves. Little Rico here can't, your pet at home can't, and these chimps can't. Thank you, Dr. Goodall.